What What is Bricks and Minifigs? Bricks and Minifigs is a new and used resale store for all things Lego. Sets, bricks, minifigures. And then we also have a party space for kids 5 to 99. What's a minifigure? A minifigurine is a small Lego person. They're very popular in the sets. In fact, that's how we got started with Bricks and Minifigs. Oh, with the... My son, he just loved the minifigures. That's all he wanted. He didn't want the sets. He just wanted the minifigurines inside the sets. I must admit, I like them too because I think of them as actors and they come with their costumes and yes. you can change the costumes and their little faces. And they're miniature. They're That's really cute. Move. Yes, exactly. Yes. What's your role here? Well, I'm the owner of Bricks and Minifigs Plano, Dallas, and Saxy. And I work in my stores alongside owning them. So as well as working in the stores, I make sure that everything runs smoothly as far as staffing, payroll, and all the behind the scenes things as well. Ooh, wow, yeah. that's a lot of work. Yeah, I work six to seven days a week. Mm. I'm tired. <laughs> but you're also a mom, so yeah. when do you sleep? At night. <laughs> <laughs> you make it work, okay. That's right. What's something that a customer who walks in would ask you, what's, what's a question you get all the time? Do you sell house bricks? Um, as in miniature fruit? House bricks? As in, <laughs> we get it. Not as much as when we first ha opened, but we would have people coming in asking if we had masonry bricks um, or miniature fruits because bricks and mini figs, which I think would be an eclectic store. Mini, as in a fig and then a mini yeah, fig. Yeah, like a small fig. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know what kind of store does uh, house bricks and miniature fruits, but that's an idea. <laughs> but really, most people come in, they're like, what is this place? This is great. And we tell them what's going on. <laughs> I'm turn it off. I'm turn it off. <laughs> it's been several minutes because I've been laughing about the masonry. Oh, we don't sell masonry bricks. <laughs> Maybe you should. You and know, I get your face. I thought about keeping a small pile just for fun. Are your are the customers patrons? What do you call them? Family. Oh, family. So yeah. the fa family members who walk in. That's true. <laughs> what kinds of people are they? Families? Are they single? Like are they like geeks? Are they? I just figured it'd be geeks and. And okay, dads. So we get a lot of great people through our doors. We get a lot of families, obviously, but 60% of our customer base are adults purchasing for themselves, not for children. So you could say geeks and nerds, but, um, and I would say most of them would own it. But honestly, it's a great hobby to have. I mean, just like the train rooms that people used to have and things like that. So, plus it's really zen. Building a set, all you can focus on is the set and all your other cares just kind of go away. Oh. Yeah, I love it. Helps me focus. I must say, it took me a while to own it. I'm like, no, I, I'm not coming back. This isn't... No. Are, are people embarrassed that they're buying, that they're adults and they're like, oh, well, it's really for my kids. Well, I think some people are until they realize there's a whole community of us here, especially in the DFW area. There's a ton of A-Falls, which are adult stands of Lego. There's a lot of us here in DFW. So, mm -hmm. when they realize that there's a place they can go with people who are just as, just as excited as they are about it, it's a big deal. So, yeah. Maybe the first few times they're embarrassed, but then after that, they just let it go. Yeah, that was hard for me. Well, I think people look at it and say, this is a toy. They don't see it as anything else. I look well, at it as a medium. Well, for... puzzles are toys and adults do puzzles. It's true. You know, um, remote control airplanes are toys, gentlemen, and you play with drones. There's lots of toys that adults play with and it's okay. I mean, we're supposed to play. If we grow old, we don't have to grow up. Yeah. I love building. Um, it gives me something to focus on and it's just enjoyable. So I did not come to love Lego until I was an adult. I homeschool and my oldest is very much like his mother. We are very much like Emmett in the Lego movie at the beginning. That is against the instructions. Okay. We have to have it perfect. 
And then my daughter is my sunshine and rainbows child. And um, definitely anything can be anything. So I found that Lego was very good at bringing out my son's creativity. So he busted out of the instructions. Uh, but it was also very good for my daughter who didn't want to focus on anything to learn to follow the instructions and to you know, harness that creativity in a, in a way that made sense to other people. Yeah. Let's talk about Texas, because yes. this is, after all, a travel vlog. Absolutely. You've traveled, yes? Yes. So how did that happen? So Jason, my husband, was in the military for 10 years, and we traveled all over the United States and Hawaii. It was very great. We enjoyed it. We've been out of the country a few times, but that wasn't with the military. And so I've been a lot of different places. I've lived around a lot of different people, and I never thought that would ever happen, because I grew up out in the middle of nowhere, pretty much, here in, out in East Texas. But we did miss home, and we were very glad to be back in Texas. And we are in the DFW area because of family, so that's really nice. And what's your favorite thing about the DFW area? There is a lot to do. So a lot of people think, oh, it's Dallas. What are you doing around here? It's flat. There's a lot of concrete. And while that is true, there's a lot of concrete now, um, there's great outdoor parks. We love to play disc golf, actually, Jason and I. And Dallas has copious amounts of disc golf courses. Our favorite is up in McKinney, and it's the Alex Clark course. But our home course is Bill Allen up in the colony. We also like to take people out, out on the lake, Lake Louisville, lots of great lakes out here. And then we love the restaurants. If there is something you want to eat, you can do that here. And we go to locally owned. We don't go to chains. Anytime someone comes in, we go to a locally owned restaurant, like the Canadian restaurant, Maple Leaf, a couple doors down, India Palace next door. Uh, I'm totally going to keep name dropping. Barney's Brunch House up in Frisco at Little Elm area. Um, there's Thai Kitchen, also in the colony. You're going to see a theme. Lita's in Plano. We love it. There's Bok Joa, which is a Korean place out in Saxe. So good. Yes. And if visitors come to... Yeah. Um, and they've never been to Texas, where would you take them? Well, I would definitely take them to the stockyards in Fort Worth because that's fun. Maybe some Billy Bobs. Um, I would absolutely take them downtown if they wanted to see the Sixth Floor Museum. That's a big thing here around Dallas. Uh, the Perot Museum, like we've mentioned, it's a great place. But I would also, if we were doing Texas in general, absolutely the Alamo. It's a lot smaller than you expect in person, but I mean, all of us Texas children were taught about the Alamo. So everybody needs to go see the Alamo at some point. The Capitol building in Austin is gorgeous. Have you ever seen the architecture? Like no. even the inside of the hinges are stamped beautiful beautiful building i love the state capital of austin houston has the nasa space center really cool i've always enjoyed going there uh the coast galveston corpus christi i mean the gulf is nice and warm it's a very nice warm beach to go to area i love oh i love the fredericksburg area the hill country it's gorgeous yeah absolutely tons of great things oh and if you go out towards el paso even though it's the desert, there's a lot of cultural mixing because of being right across the border from Juarez. Yeah, and I've been all over, all over Texas. I love Texas. Wow. Although in Dallas, I don't see people with the, the big Western hat, the boots, no. and the belt buckle that's bigger than your fist. No, I remember going to Boston when I was 20, and someone asked me if I rode a horse every day to school. I said no. There is a horse next door to me because my neighbor had a horse at the time, but no, no. In fact, where I lived, it's not desert. There's no cactus. There were rolling hills and trees and rivers. Actually, some bayous. I was close to Louisiana. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Dallas is a little, Dallas, Texas is a lot more diverse than oh, yeah. geographically than than I thought. Absolutely, it's huge. The back in the 80s and 90s, before the you know federal speed limit was lifted, it would take about two days to go east to west or north to south when you could only go 55 miles per hour yeah i will say this when we moved back from hawaii we're like the fastest you can go is about 55 miles an hour and you can do 75 on the highways here my husband and i both were like ah! we were we were so used to going slow it's true <laughs> um is there something you want us to know about bricks and minifigs or lego or dallas or something we've talked about but 
kind of glossed over or something I forgot to ask you? Uh, no, I would just say that wherever you are, I mean, get out of your comfort zone, find those locally owned places that are unique to your area. And if you're in the DFW area, I would love for you to come see me at Bricks and Minifigs.